Yo, 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 what is up, fam? It's the dude fan up, and there's uh, some cool, interesting updates with um, uh, this new blog post that has been posted. So let's go over the things that I care about here. I don't know about TOA, I never did it, so we're going to skip through that, but... Um, We're going to go over uh, some updates, because uh, 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 there's uh, some huge updates considering the wilderness. Uh, like, they want to change the wilderness, guys. They want to change the wilderness. Make it, uh, especially new wilderness bosses. So we're going to go over it. But let's stop. Let's, uh, let's go over this Nightmare Zone thing, because I've played Nightmare Zone. I haven't played Winter Tot, but let's see. They, they want to remove the blue dragon scale from the Nightmare Zone shop. Like that. That's a good thing to do. Next will be uh, Dragonfire Shield. They want to make it a defense experience only. Hey, that's a good thing, I guess. I don't know. Good, it's a good thing for tanks because, you know, they, <laughs> they won't get uh, magic XP and, you know, they won't get combat levels from it. Just be defense. Not really a thing peers would use because there's a 75 defense requirement. Next, uh, now here's a big thing, guys. I didn't even know they would have put out something like this, but yeah, wilderness and PvP changes. Uh, Callisto. Okay, first thing, Callisto. They would actually like to remove the magic immunity, and just the magic defense uh, of uh, Callisto. So that means you can no longer freeze Callisto and stuff with a zero magic bonus. So you're gonna have to bring some mage robes here, guys. And then reduce the amount percent of chip damage from cart or from Callisto. So no chip damage. Can stay there a little bit longer. Web Weaver bow. It's a quick, quick and simple change. They want to uh, reduce the cost of the special attack to one ether instead of four. Okay, good, good thing, good thing. Just save a little bit of ether there, guys. But yeah, they also want to include a three tick delay to teleporting when inside the layers of the single variant boss. So. Hey, that means we can actually PK them. Now, um, uh, they, they also want to, uh, poll if you could just remove that three tick delay if you have completed the Wilderness Hard, hard Diary. This is to kind of deter bots from automatically teleporting there, which would be a good thing to, uh, definitely a good thing to ha happen, guys. And then, uh, should we remove the one tick delay when entering any of the layers for... Uh, Calvarion. Don't know why they uh remove that, guys. So you just you immediately go in. Not n as a PKer, I don't want that to happen. I want to be able to click on them when they are going inside, so I can freeze them. So I, I personally, as a PKer, would not want that. But hey, I'm just sure a lot of other players would like it. Random events. Remove the random events from spawning in the wilderness boss dungeons. Sure. Okay, here we go. They, they're saying the war boss is super popular, but makes it... Oh, wow, look at this. Should players need to complete the medium wilderness diary to gain access of the singles version of the wilderness bosses? No, no, no. I guess. I mean, I would have to do it, though. It's gonna be hard for me to do it. The medium diary, bro. I'm gonna have to get some quests done and stuff. Probably get some stats, guys. My 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 stats are pretty low. If you guys don't know, our diary to remove the teleport delay in the wilderness revenant caves. Oh snap! They want to remove. The they actually want to buff it for PVMers here for the um revenant caves, guys. They want to buff the uh, wilderness hard wilderness diary teleport. So, let's see, Archaea spells in PvP. We want to give a lesser and greater corruption 50% accuracy instead of 33 and 30, 66, but isn't it less accuracy bonus than... And they're doubling the prayer chain on this. Oh, well, I don't know Matt, but much about the Archaea spell book, but we will skip through that. Oh, guys, they're actually a... Uh, Adjusting the prices on the as um these um repair costs for this stuff, guys. For elite void, oh, quite a bit, guys. Look, wow, 
torso, increasing the price, fire cave, increasing the price, inferno cave, increase, increasing the price, inverted defender is actually lowering the price here, that's good though, that's good, one mil for it, yikes, um, yeah, no one likes 150k loot, so, <laughs> quite a bit, quite a bunch of big uh, increases here guys, but major arena, do we include a make X option on the god statues? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so you can get uh, as many caves as you want pretty easily. It wasn't that hard to get them in, in the first place. Do we reduce the value of the Vernic Defender to 1.2 to accurately reflect its risk? So you'd be more likely to uh, lose your Vernic, guys. It's scary, it's scary. It's, it's originally 5 mil, so to protect over, like, uh... Inferno caves and stuff. Lava dragons. Should we add in sold hands to the lava, lava dragons to the drop table? Sure, why not? Uh, oh, they want to rework their lava dragons. Guys, either one, either one looks good to me. I'm not gonna lie here, guys. What do you think? Either one looks good for me. A rose chest. Uh, we rebalance the XP and GP per hour at the rose chest. Oh snap! More wilderness stuff, guys. Oh, this is a huge one. I'm sure Reese would like this one. Did we introduce a toggle option on the looting bag that would stop blinded supplies from automatically being added to the bag? Yes, of course, bro. Yes. Uh, so as far as the rose chest rework, let's see. It's 330k per hour. They want to increase the GP and XP per hour. I am all for that as well. We can make a video about PKing there. Laren's chest ladder. Should we move the freezes and binds on a player? Is the player casting spells travel up or down the Laren's chest? Oh snap. They want to make it easier if you're doing Laren's keys, guys. Like a lot, a lot, guys. So if you go downstairs or upstairs, they just remove your freeze. Oh, here's a, here's a good one. Do we allow multi dwarven multi cannons on PvP worlds? Sure, why not? <laughs> okay, PvP worlds and immunity. Do we increase the immunity of fit of uh, twenty five ticks on a PvP worlds after killing a player? Sure, why not? It's better, you know, if you want to go get your loot, I guess. I mean, you could just teleport. Your, your teleport gets removed and stuff. Near miss. BLS. Do we, should it be possible to use a Vest's longsword in combat against other players in PvP worlds? Oh, that's a huge one, guys. What do you think about that? Let me know in the comments below. Unpolled changes. Oh, they did some unpolled changes here as well. Scorpia. Oh, snap. So they, uh, Scorpia, I thought it was going to be, uh, two mil per k kill. It's, it's two mil per hour, guys. Two mil per hour. Um, yes, elemental. Okay, they, they removed some uh, weaker drops from it, so that's been long overdue, I think. Uh, multi-trio. For the wilderness boss reworks. Um. Okay, they've buffed Callisto. They've removed some uh, bad drops from uh, Vetion and Venonatus. And they're adding a bunch of new items here. Blighted Anglers, Dragon Daggers, Mystic Air Staff. Uh, yeah. They're buffing these w multi bosses as well. Spindle. Wow, a lot of updates here, guys. They're reworking Spindle. So it's easier to fight spindle. Muddy chests. So they're buffing mud muddy chests, guys. Wilderness diary. They're actually buffing the wilderness uh diary drops a little. Blighted magic sacks. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Oh here we go. This is huge, guys. So all all the blinded wave and surge sacks give access to all of them, bro. All all the wave and surge spells. 
instead of just the fire ones. We'd like to convert blind and snare sacks into tangle sacks. Oh, that's huge as well. So uh, one one. So they're actually removing bl bl blind and snare sacks. Uh, or they just? I think they just converted them all to entangle sacks. So if you had a lot of bit blind sacks, you'd be rich, guys. You'd be rich. That's a that's the best investment you can make. Ruin a cave shortcut. Oh snap. They're actually uh, changing the, um, guys, they're changing, they're making it harder to escape at the Rev Caves shortcut now, guys. Players who are currently bound cannot use the shortcut until the three tick thaw window towards the end of the freeze. You can use this, still use the shortcut, but you have to wiggle free first. Oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> they both the Rev Caves, um, for PKers, man. Uh, and they uh, removed uh, the nerfed Goblin Splash. Okay, that's about it for PP and related stuff. See you guys next video. Peace out, everyone. Thank you for watching. There are a lot of updates here, guys. A lot of wilderness stuff. This is a. Uh, I did not expect this to happen, but this is huge. And I'm glad they added it. So, yeah, a lot of changes here, guys. See you next video. Peace out, everyone.